All right, we have arrived at Adamsville Cemetery. Had to drive down the road just a little bit from the town of Adamsville, but we are here now. Check out that sign. Deeded May 31st, 1894. <laughs> out here the cemetery was so overgrown with weeds trees bushes it you you could scarcely find a grave and then about I don't know five or six years ago a Boy Scout troop came out as their project and cleaned it up and it just looks wonderful doesn't it I mean you can clearly make out the tombstones Quite a ways over there too. We'll check that out in just a moment. Granville Henderson Owry was a small footnote in early Arizona Confederate history. He was born in 1825 in Virginia. He studied law and then he made his way out westward to Arizona, where in 1861 he was elected to the Provisional Confederate Congress. It was around this time that he made a name for himself. Apaches had attacked the town of Tubac, taking hostages as they went, and Ori, along with a small band of Confederate militia, was tasked with going in and rescuing the hostages, which they successfully did. He let out the rest of his life in virtual obscurity, though, and in 1891 he died in Tucson of throat cancer, and he was interred at the Adamsville Cemetery. Here is the grave of pioneer and Adamsville founder, Fred Adams, who was born in 1844 and died in 1910. So here at Adamsville Cemetery is a constructed medicine wheel. 
as time has gone over, weeds have grown around it, but you can still see the rock formation and how they form a medicine wheel. Okay, Wild West Adventures, we have come to the second part of the Adamsville Cemetery. We just came walking down that path right over there. I don't know if you could see that. So it's just a short hop, skip, and a jump away from the first Adamsville Cemetery. Let's check this one out. So we have found out this part of the cemetery is called Butte View Cemetery. Here you see this is an unknown marker or unknown grave 107 at the Butte View Cemetery. This reminds me of the grave we found out in Florence, the unknown graves of Florence. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check my other videos and you'll find it. What I'm finding interesting is that for such a small town to have two cemeteries, this doesn't even include the Florence Cemetery, which is what they are currently using. So this is really just Adamsville and early Florence here. Pretty amazing. This just shows you the number of people who lived and died here in just the short amount of time that it was, in fact, a town. Let's check out some more, shall we? Another unknown grave at the Butte View Cemetery. And judging by the size, I'm guessing an infant or a very small child. Guys, this cemetery is so much cooler than the first Adamsville Cemetery we went to, probably because of all these cool trees everywhere, these cottonwood trees. At least I think that's what they are. And it's cool, you just feel like you're in the shadows and it's much more graveyard-like. It's pretty cool. Let's check out some more. A Boy Scout uh, working on his Eagle Project actually came and put all these crosses up and if he knew the grave, put a grave marker. If not, he would put the marker for unknown grave. And when we first came out here about 10 years ago, this place was so overgrown and a mess, so it really was a labor of love. Um, a very hard-earned project that he got with his, uh, for his Eagle project. So I believe the uh, Eagle Scout also put in this nice stone-lined path. And you can see it goes throughout the cemetery. graves out in the trees area we're gonna go check out. Another cross that the Boy Scout put up. Hopefully I can find his name so I can give him the credit that he deserves for cleaning up this old graveyard. So we're gonna get off the path here, grave the rattlesnake infestation, and go check out these three graves here. are outside of the maintained area. some research to find out who these three are that are buried here. You guys, check this out. I'm still off the beaten path and I saw something over here. Came over here and look at this. How cool is that? I'm obviously some kind of grave, I'm thinking. I don't think it's a small foundation for anything, and again, we are at a cemetery, but isn't that cool? You can kind of see where it goes back in there. I don't know. I find these old cemeteries so fascinating the way that they honored their dead. Look, there's even more. It just keeps going. 
Now why the completed part or the fixed up part doesn't extend out here, I don't know. There are clearly graves back here. Oh, that's interesting. Luger, June 16th, 2012, September 7th, 2013. A good dog. So, obviously not part of the original cemetery, but cool, nonetheless. Rest in peace, old friend. Bow wow. All right, Wild West Adventures. I think we've come to the end of our exploration of Adamsville and its two cemeteries. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that bell button to receive notifications. Onward to the next one. See you later.